what's up everyone welcome back to Nicole of course as you guys can see from down in the title today I am going to be doing Taco Bell I ordered basically the whole menu no not literally but um, I got a lot of good stuff I can't tell you the last time I ate Taco Bell actually um, I just realized that I'm kind of by a busy street so I'm so so sorry if you guys do hear that in the background I'm hoping the camera is not picking it up but I try to pick the best place for lighting the first place I picked wasn't that great and um, it was very dark so I'm depending I don't know if I should move or not I guess this is really busy I really didn't think it was going to be this busy I feel like it's really loud. Mm, I think I'm gonna move. All right, I will be right back. I'm gonna go move the car real quick. Okay, so we are back. I moved a little bit further away from the busy seat, uh, street. Not too far, but I feel like you guys won't hear the traffic as much and what's going on. Um, I'm kind of in a more of an emptier parking lot rather than being all hectic and congested over there. So I hope this works out better for your guys' um, audio purposes. So let's get into it. I'm gonna pray real quick and then take a thumbnail and we can start. This is going to be a story time video and I decided to tell you this because when I was younger, it hap this happened to me when um, it was actually winter time. So you guys get a little story bong uh, story bong <laughs> story mukbang today while eating taco ball so let's pray real quick and let's get into it father god i want to thank you for this food and please bless this food in jesus name we pray amen so i i think this is new it's called a dragon fruit um drink and um it's amazing Mmm. This tastes so good. Is it going in and out with the um lighting? I'm so sorry you guys. Let me get a quick thumbnail and I can start eating. I think I'm gonna take a thumbnail with the nachos and the drink. So yeah, grapefruit um a freezy drink i think i'm pretty sure it's new on the menu like i said in the beginning i d couldn't tell you the last time i went to uh taco bell so they could already have that um for a while now so don't take my word on it but <laughs> let me take a quick thumbnail okay mmm now, so I got the nachos, nacho bel grande. I got that. I got my favorite thing that I always get is a steak quesadilla. Oh, I also got for after, I got some cinnamon delights. Only a two pack because trying not to eat that much, but <laughs> let me see. Okay, so here is the steak quesadilla. I feel like it gets lighter and darker. I try to face the sun so that it's like better lighting, but I just couldn't find a parking spot that wanted to work with me. So this is what we have for right now. I'm gonna just take the uh, quesadilla out and put it on the top of the lid for the nachos just so it's easier for me. And then, um, you always got to ask for a side of sour cream. Otherwise, they don't give you, I don't think so. I don't think, otherwise, they don't give you sour cream with it. So, um, yeah. This is a little bit harder to eat in the car. <laughs> um, I got a couple of hard shell tacos as well. Mmm. Mmm. Really good. Mm 
mm. very fresh like you can tell this was just made I just bit the side of my cheek. <laughs> that never feels good. Mm -mm. Mm. Let me just get a couple bites in and then I will start my story time. <gasps> mm -hmm. By the way. I have to keep checking today for the mail um, because one of the presents that I ordered for Dalvin was on, I think it was on Cyber Monday. Um, I forgot, but it should be coming today and I don't want them to come to the door and, you know, have a package with my name on it and then Dalvin, like, you know, I don't want him to know, so I gotta, like, take it right away. So... Um, he won't find out that I ordered something to the house. <laughs> Honestly, I still have it. I bought a couple things for Dalvin. I haven't shopped for anyone else yet. Usually I am on it and my shopping would be like halfway done. I love shopping earlier just so that you don't have the pressure of like counting down the days to for you to go get a present, you know, so... Mm. Mm -hmm. I bit my cheek again. What is my problem? Ouch. <clears throat> okay. So, it was around this time when, um, when this incident happened to me when I was younger. <laughs> so, as you guys know, my parents uh, were divorced and um, at a young age they separated. So, I was always back and forth at my dad's like every other weekend pretty much. And, um, so you know in Wisconsin it snows a lot more than it would here in Ohio. I don't know, maybe it does, but... The last year that we were living here, Dalvin and I, it really didn't snow that much. <clears throat> and if it did, like I said, it would go away the next day. Let me just get some hot sauce. <clears throat> okay, so... Is it dark for you guys? Hmm. So yeah, it would it was snowing and I was it was my dad's weekend and we would always go by my aunt's house because they had four wheelers, snowmobiles, all the fun stuff, like 
when I was a kid, I was basically a tomboy at heart. I used to do all the stuff the my guys' cousins did. My aunt had three boys. So, when I would go over there with my first half-sister, stepsister, um, that's before uh, Gracie... So Jessie was her name um, before Grace was born. Me and Jessie would go over to my aunt's house and it was snowing, like I said, and we would go for um, snowmobiling around the house because she had a lot of land. It was, um, you know, like more out of the city. So we had a lot more room to like do those kinds of stuff, that kind of stuff. And, um... It was so much fun. I absolutely loved doing it so, so much. So, <laughs> uh, I got ready. Well, so we took turns going, you know, and we were so young, we had to ride in the front or back of someone else. So someone else would obviously be driving and we would either, if you're older, you can just hold on to the person in from the back, like you would do a motorcycle or... <coughs> Excuse me or if you're younger you sit in between and then you know right in front of the handlebars so um, I was younger and she was I was be the one in the front and she would be the one in the back with wh riding with either my dad or my older cousins or my uncle so she was it was her time her turn going around the land and you know riding the snowmobiles with somebody else and then my dad was getting me ready to go on right <laughs> so I'm like I don't even know how old I was let me sing how old was I? I was pretty young. Like, really young. I don't know. Maybe like... 7 or 8? I want to say. Maybe even younger than that. But, my dad's getting me bundled up. Hat, gloves, scarf. Um... Um... Whatchamacallit? Pants. What are they called? Man, I can't even think of them. Snow pants, snow boots, a hundred layers of clothes on. This person next to me is jamming out in their car. <laughs> but, you know, I had the whole nine yards on. Bundled up to the max. Because it's freezing outside. So, um... I'm sorry, I'm really getting distracted. I need to focus. So, um, as I'm going out the door, my dad is, the last thing he does is put on my coat and tries to zipper it up. Okay, this person's doing a lot. I feel like he was making noise for no reason. <laughs> <sighs> All right. So, um, yeah, he was putting on my coat, and we were kind of rushing. I don't know why, because we, we, we didn't have to, but he, this is the reason why I am traumatized. I mean, traumatized of other people zippering up my jacket, anything that gets close to my neck. My dad was bundling me up, zippered my neck in my, in my winter coat, and I started bawling i was so scared it was stuck my aunt i was screaming my aunt was in the kitchen because the kitchen and the dining room um were like a more open space and i'm screaming my dad's freaking out my aunt runs over and they i forgot how they got it out or whatever they obviously like probably unzipped or whatever but i was spooked spooked i was like no no one is ever ever zippering my jacket nothing anymore at all like i don't care who you are um it's just not happening because that one time that he zippered my neck in the winter time when i was super young it was right here i'm really surprised it didn't leave a scar because it was in there in there like it was deep and i was just 
devastated. I was bawling my eyes out. Ugh. It was so bad. It was just so bad. <laughs> and I was just, I don't even know. My, my dad was always like, you know, when I would have the weekend by him, he would always be like, okay, but whatever we do, like, don't tell your mom. And because my mom was always, like, super overprotective, and he was the fun one that, like, wanted to do a whole bunch of different stuff, you know. Um, I actually have a couple story times that I could tell you um, about growing up with my dad. They're pretty funny. <laughs> Maybe that'll be my thing while i'm here in ohio story times in the car mukbangs let me know if you guys enjoy something like that but oh my goodness it was just incredibly bad so he zippered my neck right then i also don't let people cut my nails my real nails because again when i was younger he was cutting my nails and he cut too short. I mean, he's a, he's just, you know, a, well, he wasn't a single dad then when I was every other weekend, but, um, cause he had a wife at that time and, but you know, he was still trying to learn because I was his first kid, like his first official kid. And then Jesse came with the first wife and then Gracie came with when when my dad and my first stepmom had a kid together so he was still learning it was just me and Jesse and he was trying to cut my nails and he cut them too short and I am devastated from that as well and when I go to the nail shop I don't let them cut my nails I don't let anyone cut my nails my real nails like you can cut my fake nails down but Mm -mm. <laughs> Not happening at all. Just not happening. Mm. Honestly, I'm kind of annoyed by the light and I feel like you guys are going to be too. <sighs> the sun is just coming in at a different angle and I'm so sorry. But this almost reminds me of like an alcoholic beverage. Sorry if some of you don't like that noise. But but yeah, this almost tastes like an alcoholic, like, you can, like there's some liquor in here. Taco Bell, what are you guys doing? <laughs> oh my goodness, that scared me. I was going to say, I am not complaining though because today is actually a sunny day. The first sunny day in Ohio since we got here. And um, the snow is melting, and that just that's what just scared me. <laughs> the snow is melting off the car, but there it goes again. But yeah, I'm not complaining. It's a nice sunny day in Ohio today, and it's still cold, but not as cold as the last two days because it's been snowing. But there's really not that much snow on the ground because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like today it's probably going to melt halfway and then by tomorrow it'll just be gone that's how Ohio always is so I feel like <clears throat> if you still want to live in the Midwest and like a little bit of snow and not like freezing freezing cold like how it is in Wisconsin moved to Ohio also in the summertime it gets really hot like 
hotter than I feel like it's hotter than Wisconsin ever got but I don't know I could just be tripping but I don't know like the beginning months of summertime in Ohio were really really hot so I just feel like it's a really good state to move to if you're trying to like move out of Wisconsin or more up there I'm gonna go ahead and try one of these hard shells. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Listen, I was supposed to start working out yesterday. The thing is, okay, so um Dublin's family and I all have a plan to start working out together and Nate gave me an app to download and it has like beginner, middle, and then a person that's like a pro basically. And it doesn't seem that hard, you know, it's like, it just gives you a, a workout plan basically. And you start off like with um, 20 jumping jacks and then you move to um, say like girl push-ups. So like it just works you out in a slow, like builds you up basically. So. And it's stuff that you can just do in your room at night or in the morning because you don't need any workout. Um, you don't need any um, workout equipment. So it's really nice. And But the thing is though, I'm sorry, I feel like I'm all over the place today, honestly. Is this... <sighs> Anyways, <clears throat> like I was saying... My thing is when I work out, like me working out is only me running on the treadmill and they have a Peloton like I told you but um, someone just pulled up next to me and they're like, <laughs> they're looking at me crazy but I, they have a Peloton and you know it's like a bike and I know you can lose weight by that too but I'm just so used to you know walking running on the treadmill. Um, they also have like a boxing thing that you hit and um, I want to start using that for my arms. Uh, Nate said that it will really help me lose weight in my arms and tone them up as well so I'm excited to do that. It's just, it's just the whole fact of I don't know it's just I don't know how to explain it not that it's in someone's house and it's all the way in the basement too so I wouldn't be disturbing anybody um, if it was if I was working out in the morning because I feel like they wouldn't be able to hear it but uh, I don't know I need to stop making up excuses for it and just do it and then once I do it for like a good week I might go ahead and actually record it for you guys because I know you guys are always saying record your workouts record your workouts and I've just said you know like I just run on the treadmill that's it but this is actual like you know do lifting your legs um, like you're sitting on your butt pretty much and lift your legs up and hold them together and then kind of get like a medicine ball and go back and forth like that. That kind of stuff is on the app. Um, let me see what it's called so you guys can download it if you want to do it as well. I think it's called, it's, it's called Home Workouts. And it's a guy, it's a red app with a guy doing push-ups. Well, he's in, in the push-up push position. So... These are the Dorito Locos Tacos. I am right behind a I'm sorry, I'm right in front of a Gold Star Chili, and people here love that place, especially like construction workers and um, like, you know, th those kind of people. People are just pulling in and going in there, and to be honest, me and Dalvin tried it when we lived here. I don't think it's, it's okay.
I think it's just not for me. But people here, they love it. They love it. <laughs> what we're gonna do today I think everyone has <clears throat> their own videos to do today so <clears throat> I'm doing mine in the car just so that I don't take up you know anybody's room to record I just give them their space and let them do what they need to do and then I'm gonna just I don't mind doing car mukbangs I feel like I kind of like them better to be honest just cuz like I know I'm alone and I, I kind of prefer them to be honest um, I definitely need to bring Darius along with me in one of these car mukbangs the only thing is that I do them kind of early and I'm I don't think he eats right away when he when he wakes up so cuz I'm up pretty early I've been waking up like five six o'clock in the morning and I kind of just chill on my phone watch some TV and then I start to get ready <coughs> I know you guys want to see more of him but to be honest everyone is trying to grind this month on YouTube everyone's trying to do their own thing um yeah we're gonna be in each other's videos but I don't want to you know take away from them doing a video on their channel so I said you know whenever you have time to do a video together just let me know that's totally fine I can do them by myself um, I gotten used to that since I've been doing um, videos straight for a good month and a half I think it's been and then I kind of messed up a little bit at the end of the month but I was doing really good for a while and I was proud of myself so I hope to keep that up for the rest of this month for sure and January January as well but I feel like it's going to get a little rocky again when me and Devin start to move like when he moves to his place and then I move in mine I do want to record that process but you know when you're in the process of moving you can't always have a camera in your hand so um yes but don't worry ever like I want to take you guys along with me maybe picking out like the options that I have for um apartments um the decoration everything that you can think of i want to take you guys along with me so it's kind of basically like you're gonna go through the same process with me um getting my very first apartment together so that should be really fun i know i talked about like a million and one things i <laughs> i tend to do that in all my videos it was supposed to be just a story time but the story time didn't last as long as I thought it should be I should probably explain everything in more details but that's pretty much just what happened and not I wasn't bleeding I didn't have to go to the ER or anything like that get stitches it was just a tragic moment for me in my childhood and I decided to share that story with you guys because Dalvin did bring it up in the Fashion Nova video and I needed a topic to talk about here on YouTube for a mukbang although I do have <laughs> a couple more things I can share with you guys in other mukbangs probably maybe like the next two days <clears throat> 
um of things that has happened to me in the past growing up with my dad and <laughs> um they're pretty exciting some one of them are hectic and i still have a scar from it so i can maybe just share that story tomorrow and then the next one i have um but it's i don't know i don't know i'll see but i'm really trying to write down some ideas of what to do this month for mukbangs if you guys have any ideas please let me know down in the comment section i'm trying to like i said incorporate christmas along with it but i don't want to be a burden to anybody and drag them in my videos when they have work to do on their own videos so i hope you enjoyed this video of taco bell mukbang i didn't eat that much i thought i was really really hungry i got like four tacos oh yeah let me just eat these let me just eat one cinnamon delight though because those sound good <laughs> someone is subbing hard do you hear that <laughs> i think it's that truck right there but <clears throat> let me just eat some of these and then These are so amazing. Mmm. Mm-mm. <clears throat> yeah, I got... I feel like I got so much food, but I hardly ate anything. Hopefully... You guys liked my little story time and then you know like I said please give me some more ideas of if you guys have any um thing from my childhood that you guys want to ask or anything like that I would be grateful not grateful I'd be glad to answer those questions for you guys so smash that like button on this video and leave a comment down below don't forget to follow me on my social medias at nicole of course on instagram and on snapchat twitter tiktok and facebook it's nicole of course with two e's at the end i'm gonna end it off here you guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video i will see you tomorrow i love everybody i love you 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 and you bye guys